84, I am now going to take you through all of the spellings which are within our spelling activities for this week and will form part of your test once you've completed all of this. So let's go through these words. So remember, as always, write down each spelling word, have a go at writing them, try your very best, look at it, check at it. Write a sentence for each of the words on your spelling list so that you are practicing putting it within a context which works. Complete your spelling shared assignments. That means a minimum of three games you for. Now, you know I say that three games really isn't enough. You could definitely do more than that. It will certainly help your class to try and collect the most number of games as well. And then test yourself at the end of the PowerPoint and let me know how you get on. So let's have a look at these words. Our spelling words this week. Let's just do that. Our spelling words this week all have the suffix shun. Now you will notice that looks different to the spelling from last week. And as we look at these two different root word examples, it will it will show us why. So today's spelling list looks at adding the suffix shun, pronounced shun, to words that end in SS or MIT. So there are two differences. So green ones for today, where the root word ends in SS naturally. When it happens like that, then you just add the ION straight onto the ending. Nothing else needs to happen. No other adaptations need to take place. However, purple ones for today, when the root word ends in MIT, you drop the T and then you add the SSION to create your shun ending there. So we'll go through each of these words now and it will give you time to have a look at them, have an explore of them, look at the meanings of them before you then move on to the spelling activities for today. Let's move myself back down to the bottom again. So our first word for today is expression. So you have three different ways it is explained here, three different noun examples. So the look on a person's face that shows what they are thinking or feeling. The act of showing an idea or feeling through words, action or art. And it's a, com it's a common saying as well. It's a word we use quite a lot, isn't it? So let's have a look at how we change that. It begins as express. That's its root word, how it starts off. So because it ends in that SS straight away, we are just adding the ION to the ending to create the word expression. So within a sentence, it could look a bit like this. The expression on Dad's face told Annabelle this was serious. So this is about reading people's faces, isn't it, for the word expression. It's a good one to use. So that's spelling number one. Moving on. We have the word discussion. So your explanation here, it's a conversation or talk that includes lots of detail. So it's not just a quick, hi, how are you? It's getting into more details with things. So let's have a look at how this word is constructed. The root word is discuss. So because that ends in your SS, you are going to add your ION and that will then give you your word discussion. So let's have a look at that within a sentence as well. The team had a discussion about which position each player would have. So again, you can see that's used really effectively within that sentence there. Moving on, your next word is confession. And you have two ways of putting it into context here. The act of admitting to something which is bad in words or in writing or the religious act of admitting sins to a priest so that's a religious context or a confession might be yeah i did this okay and admitting to something so let's have a look at how that word is constructed your root word here is confess so because it has that ss ending naturally you're going to add your ion and it will give you your word confession so within a sentence it will look a bit like this I have a confession to make, said Ben nervously, or admitting to something that's happened. Okay, let's move on. Your next word, permission. So you have an explanation of it here. The act of allowing somebody to do something. So if somebody has been given permission to do something or get something done. So, your root word here. Your root word here is permit. Now you can see that that root word there ends in MIT. Now if you ref remember back to what I said at the start, we are going to cross out the T and we are going to add the shun ending, S-S-I-O-N, and that will then give us our word permission. And within a sentence, it looks like this. He knew he did not have permission 
but he took another cake anyway. So going against what you've been told. Okay, the next word here for admission. So again, you've got three explanations for this one here. First one, the act or process of allowing somebody to enter somewhere. The price to enter. The act of confessing something or agreeing that something is true. So again, let's have a look at how our root word starts us off here. Our root word this time is admit. Now you can see that has that M-I-T ending. So we are going to remove the T. We are going to add our shun ending, S-S-I-O-N, to give us our word admission. So it could look like this within a sentence. Admission to the building site was forbidden. Next word. Impression. Three explanations for it here. The feeling, opinion or general idea a person gets from another person or place. So the feeling of something. The copying of a person or animal's speech or actions. So to copy or mimic them. And the third one, the indented mark that is made by pressing one thing into another. So that takes me back to when we did our work on rocks year four and working with the plasticine and how we left indentations in it. So let's have a look at how we create this word. Our root word is impress. Because it already has that SS ending, we are going to add our ION to give us the word impression, which can be used in a sentence a bit like this. The watch strap had left an impression on her skin, so it left a mark there. Okay, next word. The word obsession. So you have an explanation here. Something that somebody cannot stop thinking about. So let's have a look at how that starts and how we get to the word obsession. It starts with the word obsessed. That is our root word there. It has that SS ending at the end of it normally. So we are just going to add our ION to give us our word obsession. So within a sentence, it could look a bit like this. I think that you have an obsession with unicorns. Okay, move on to our next word. Procession. Again, it's a noun. A group of people or vehicles moving forward in line normally as part of a ceremony. So there's lots of different ways this can be used, and I'll give you an example in a moment. So let's have a look at our root word. Our root word is process. It has that SS ending, so we're going to add our ION to the end of it to give us our word procession. And then it can be used a bit like this. They joined in with the procession which marched through the town. Let's move on. We have the word omission. The omission means the act of missing something out or leaving something out. So let's look at what our root word here. Our root word is omit. Now it has that mit ending there, year four, doesn't it? So we're going to remove our T. We are going to add our S-S-I-O-N suffix and that gives us the word omission. So within a sentence, it could be used like this. The omission of Helen's name from the guest list had been a mistake, so it had been left out. In this instance, accidentally. Okay, let's have a look at our next word. I think this is our last word here, isn't it? Concussion. A violent shock caused by shaking or a heavy blow. An injury to the brain from a sudden hit or fall, which may well make someone pass out, feel sick or be confused. So let's have a look at how that word is developed. It begins as concuss. It has that SS ending in it already. So we're going to add our ION to give us our word concussion. And then within a sentence, it could be used like this. There has been a lot of debate about concussion in football. So they are your spelling words year four. And I would like you to then return to the PowerPoint. Make sure that you are really clear about them, practice them, play on them, practice on your spelling chair to put them into sentences and then you can give yourself a test with them.